The search for a missing teen who disappeared into a storm drain at Earl Bales Park overnight has come to a tragic end. Officials confirmed late this morning that a body has been found. Brittany Rosen is at Earl Bales Park this afternoon where this all happened. So Brittany, what is the latest? Good afternoon, Marianne. We are at the Shepherd Avenue entrance of Earl Bales Park, just steps away from the Dawn River. And I can tell you at this hour that emergency crews have found this teenager that was swept into the Dawn River early this morning. He unfortunately has succumbed to his injuries. Now we saw 65 emergency personnel from Toronto Fire, from Toronto Police's Marine Unit, the K-9 Unit, the Emergency Task Force, who all worked together to try and find this teenager boy. The call came in just before 1.30 this morning. Two teens had ventured into the storm drain system at Earl Bales Park. They had to manually remove the cover in order to do that. One of the boys, an 18-year-old, was able to rescue himself by grabbing onto a rock where he was able to pull himself out. He notified bystanders and was rushed to hospital to be treated and brought back to the scene to help with rescue efforts. Now, the other person, his exact age has not been confirmed, but officials say he was a teenager. He's, they say the boys would have entered the storm drain system during a storm surge because of last night's powerful thunderstorm. So the currents would have been very forceful and swift to say the least. This is a complex and risky operation or it was at least for crews this morning. Here's more from officials. Take a listen. Our understanding was that they were in the storm drain system. They went uh, approximately 300 meters through the system down a chute and into the river where they were swept away. Now, there are warning signs all around the river that water levels may flow and change without notice. James Pasternak, the local councillor of this area, also showed up on scene. We asked him about if more needs to be done to keep people safe here. Take a listen. The other main part of this is to see what went wrong and see how the city can fix its safety, uh, safety measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. Now, Pastor Neck adds that the city could consider additional measures, including illuminated signs and fencing. Again, we don't know why, Marianne, these boys ventured into the storm drain system in the first place. That will be part of the investigation. However, the family of the victim has been notified. I'll send things back to you. All right. Thanks so much. Brittany Rosen at Earl Bells Park this hour.